All right, guys, welcome back. Back down here on the new boat. Uh, just working up here in the house. Um, we're removing extra antennas and bolts and wires and stuff that are uh, penetrating up through the top of the cabin. Gonna seal those off with some fiberglass. Um, it's a beautiful day out. It's been rainy for quite a few days. So gonna try and get that knocked out today. Got some old wires like this one. This went to the antenna for the sideband. Um, and just a few other things in the back. There's a couple of handles or brackets where the old life raft used to sit. So we'll be taking those off. Basically just tightening up this house a bit. You can see some water uh, stains there where it's been leaking for a little bit. So yeah, just making an effort to get it all tightened up and while we have our glass stuff down here, uh, get it re-glassed. So yeah, that's where we're starting at today. We have Tristan up on the house here. Bring it up there, show you what we're taking off. So here are the brackets in question. We'll also be taking a look at this uh, cowling here. We need some sealant running around. What you got there, buddy? Oh, you yeah. pulled it off. There it is. Oh, pulled it through. So this is going to that uh, bolt down there. Old antenna piece and old antenna itself. And we got that one straight screw and a wad of junk. I guess there's also uh, old GPS or actually I think that's uh, satellite radio so we'll take that off it's like just a couple of Phillips I'm up here there's the antenna for the single sideband running up to that antenna so we'll remove it from there tie it off to the mast until we can climb up and remove all the extras I think we also have this one that I just untied I'm going to go ahead and take that off. It's going to this light right here. I think that's what's been, what's been leaking. Yep. So yeah, what you say? Ready? I'm ready. All right. Get the show on the road. All right, we'll do this one first, and then that flat. And this thing will want to fall over, I'm sure. So, are you prepared for that? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Huh? Yep. It's all loose, kind of. Huh? Nope. Okay. Huh? Ready? Yep. Hold on. 
Okay. Yep. Whoa! I was ready. That thing's strong. Hold on. Oops, I guess I wasn't ready. I'll have to go get the screwdriver. Hey, at least it didn't fall over. They're super strong. Yeah, that's because it's kind of rusty. Hold this thing back like this so you can actually see what you're doing. I mean, I thought I was just pushing down. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Are you ready now? Probably. Okay. We'll try again. Ready? Yep. Hold on. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Huh? Splinters? Yeah, be There we go. Ooh, that was a bit of a struggle. Huh? Yeah, almost. I got it. Okay. Ninja'd your way up here without me noticing. Yes. Oh. That's amazing. You can pull that thing out. It's clipped. Yeah, I guess so. Dude, you should have brought the impact driver. Could have had those out half a second flat. Hey, it's true. Done there, finish getting these.
these last few things off and then clean up the surface for some glass. All right, guys. So we got the holes all ground off and prepared. I think there's a total of about nine, nine or so fill in. Not too big of a job, anyway. Pretty straightforward. We'll take a countersink and clean up the edges of these holes so that the putty seats in there better. We'll go grab one of those and get some putty mixed up. Yeah, right. So we got Tristan over here. Which up, TT? I'm just taking off this old foil tape. Ooh, it, needs, it needs cleaned up and replaced. Yeah. I was leaking down the stove while it's not on because it's uh, leaking somewhere, making it rusty. Yeah, so I'm just gonna scrape this off and I'll brush it with my wire brush. Nice. Get all the soot and stuff off so your adhesive sticks. Yeah. Cool. And you were gonna wipe it down with acetone. Yep. Make sure it's nice and clean so I don't have to do it again for a while. Yep. Alrighty. Well, I'll leave you to it. As I said, I'm filling these holes now. I got the drill here with just a little countersink bit in it, and that's just to give the holes a little bit better grippage for like the putty instead of just a straight wall that'll have a tapered wall and it just tends to hold better that way. See a little moisture in that last one. I'll get the rest of these done like that and same thing just give a little wipe of acetone to clean up the gel coat that came off the top of it some dust got all over so we'll do that and get some resin mixed up
guess there's enough wind out today. I'm not actually smelling this stuff, so that's nice. Oh yeah. It's actually pretty nice out, huh? It's like uh like the marshmallow uh fluff stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, well, a little bit left over, but I don't have anywhere to put it, so not much waste, but I'll go get my resin and get some cloth over these before this stuff hardens up. All right. Pull pieces apart so you have straight edges instead of a hard edge like this. That makes it feather in nicely. Pull it apart like so, like so. Sticker on there. Try to do this quick before this stuff kicks. It's hot out today. Get off. You know, it helps is when you wet your putty out first. Then it doesn't lift your, uh, your matting with your brush. Then take your stuff and stick it on there like so. Not that much. And you're just aiming to keep that putty covered because you don't want it exposed. Peel away from the base layer and open up a crack. So that's why you put your put a little chunk of mat down over it and then it's good to go. You gotta remember that your resin kicks off a lot faster in direct sun. It may not seem that much hotter than the shade, but it really is. It makes all the difference. Yep. Soft right there, a little dimple. Mm, that smells real good. Can you smell it? Huh? Can you smell it? No, I smell that barbecue. Oh, oh okay. Nope, I'll have to go mix more resin. I'll have enough for these, but... He is just to waterproof it. These aren't forever. Get rid of some of the penetrations. Get rid of some of the excess antennas. All right.
I think by the time I get back, my putty is going to be kicked. If it's not already, because I can kind of feel it on that one. Yep, sure enough. Alright, no worries. I'll just let them harden a little bit. Take a little piece of sandpaper and swipe the top a few times. Just keep it from holding up any matting that I try and put down. So, as you can see, this putty hardened. So you just want to just take a little piece of sandpaper, run over the top real quick, sweep off any that will roll up, because they will. It's not hard hard, so it's not going to turn to powder. It will just kind of roll up. But get any high peaks off. Otherwise, it'll just keep your mat from going down flat. Annoy you. Swipe resin. like that. Now you can kind of, if it's too light on resin, you'll see bubbles in it. Don't be confused. Don't confuse them for just the putty underneath. Um, it'll be pretty obvious what they are because pressed on it with your brush, it'll disappear. Resin. Do the job up here. Do another layer on this one because it was a big hole. Soak up some of the extra resin that's there. white around the edges that's dry dry cloth so you don't want that getting saturated like so and that's it don't worry about the extra fibers around the edges just take those off with sander later or grinder or whatever easy yep so guess we'll get back to Tristan's deal over here Oh, yeah. Alright, so Tristan got this all scraped off. I'm just gonna wipe the seams off with acetone, get rid of any junk that keep the new adhesive from sticking good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just the heavy. Yep. Anything dry tends to stop adhesives from sticking, so. Probably most of the screws that leak for this flange. But we'll figure that out later. This needed done. Yeah. Alright. 
good to get all of these little odd jobs out of the way. Yeah, for sure. Want to do the application? Uh, you can do the first one. What, what is that stuff? It's just like foil tape. Imperfect alignment. Bomber. <laughs> oh well. We can't all be perfect. No. I was too busy trying to get good camera angles. <laughs> now you gotta one shot it. Yeah, just get your beginning stirred. You can just like follow the line right there. To get it started and then we'll wrap around pretty evenly. Just press it down as you go so it doesn't get too many creases in it. Oh no. Oh dear. It's already disastrous. Ah, that is the look of focus. There we go. I've made a recovery. <laughs> Such concentration. Oh no. I don't know, we're going down too far. There you go. Such immense pressure. It's cracking. Well, not as good as the first one, but. Oh well. As I said, we can't all be perfect. No. I don't even know how it went all off course. Will it be okay? It'll be fine. It conforms to it pretty good. Anyway, these seams are actually all pointed down. 
like the connections are all overlapped in a way that water running down it won't go into it. I get a feeling that it's actually the flange that's leaking, but these did need done anyways, so. All right. Redemption. We'll do that last one now. It's time for redemption. Take it slow and easy. No rush, buddy. No pressure. Nope. It's all about how you start. Oh dear. Yep. If it goes weird, just peel it off. Peel it off, otherwise we'll have a wrinkle. Get your alignment correctly. There you go. Oh yeah, this this is this is it. This one will be good. Yeah. All right. Putting all my faith in you. Such finesse. fingernail and break that around. Just so water doesn't uh, pool in it, like so. Uh, nice. So I think at a later date we'll just come in here and squirt some silicone around there. That's probably where the main source leak is, but It'll be fine till then. Yep. There we go. Alrighty. Another day, another dollar. Yep. Okay, guys. Well, I guess that's it for now. Yeah, we got a lot of chores done today. Yeah, like you say, a lot of little things. Yeah. Take some time. They're not the most enjoyable stuff to do but they need done huh they add up yep so thank you guys for watching yeah thanks if you enjoyed the video we'd appreciate if you liked comment and subscribed yeah be sure to follow our other social medias we have uh, facebook same name emerald isle seafoods and uh, if you're interested in any cod rockfish or halibut check out our website yasalaska.com so Thank you guys again, and we'll see you next time. See you next time.